the fuck? Hello and welcome to another edition of Living With a KTM 690 SMZR. Apparently I've got to make this one a bit more lively, a bit more interesting because... Oh my god. Because the last one was a bit boring for you. Woo! Yeah! Oh yeah! Woo! Now I'm not exactly too sure what you're expecting because we're running in a bike uh, and a bike that is not our, our own, so it belongs to someone else. So I'm not sure exactly sure what you're expecting, but here we go, I'll make it a bit more lively for you. Oi, 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 oi. Thank you. Oi. I thought I'd make it a bit more lively. I thought we'd come to uh, one of the best roads in the world. Look at this shithole. Absolute shit tip. Oh, well done, the Swiss. Well done, the Swiss. Up the Swiss. I mean, look at the state of this. Every day this happens. Every day this dual carriageway funnels into a single carriageway so you can go and look at some stones. And every day one of these cars will stop and slow down and look to their right and slow all the traffic up and cause this massive backlog of traffic and welcome to Stonehenge this is the home of pagan fly tipping some would say oh look they're slowing up they're slowing up yeah here we go slow down guys don't want to miss it don't want to miss it that's it yeah brake lights on that's it see all this traffic's moving lovely and it should be moving lovely but so, look here we go yeah look Guys, come on, have a look, that's it. Yeah, it's lovely, it's still there. The stones are still there, yeah. Anyway, back to the subject matter. As you can see, we're nearly done 600 miles, so we've nearly reached the magic number, the 620 miles, where we can use full revs, and it will go back to KTM UK for its first service. And uh, we can start thinking about having some fun. Because running in a bike is not fun, is it? Cheeky. So we had a bit of an eventful time. Uh, just riding along, minding my own business, and the bike suddenly slowed down and felt a bit weird. And it didn't feel like the engine, the engine was still strong. I mean, it was uh, something to do with the brakes. Anyway, I looked down and the back brake was on fire. Well, we've got a bit of a fire, my babby. Something weird happening, it just suddenly slowed down and uh, we had some flames there, my babs. So it was this little bolt here, this little adjuster, that wound itself out, right out, right out, and forced the lever down. And it was putting so much pressure on the lever, the lever wouldn't move. And uh, yeah. But other than that, it's been good. I've had, uh, like I said, done a fair few miles now. And uh, I even rode. I even rode up to our friends at ART motorcycle training where they had an open day and I had to go to some um, Moto Gymkhana and that is fun, especially on this thing. Right, Gymkhana time. There's Steve, remember Steve? That's Steve. So I'm just uh, pointing out who you are on the camera. Right, thanks. That's Steve. That's back right. <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunately, um, the back brake isn't too good. <laughs> the guy said, "What you need? What you need is oh, bloody hell. oh, Revin Rodney in front." Yeah, the guy said, uh, "You need rear brake. Don't touch the front brake." Well, my rear brake's not very good at the moment because it was on fire not so long ago. It's amazing how fun just going around some cones in a car park is, really. It is when you're pushing yourself. Isn't yeah. It? You're the only person you're, you're yeah. running against yourself. Right? Yeah. One of the easiest ones to learn, one of the hardest ones to master, <laughs> and almost all the Gymkhana skills you need, you can get out of this. Really? 
Um, I'll step back up there, relax, yeah. look where you want to go, remember to breathe. But the important bit with this is not the entrance, or the entrance because you want the right exit. Yeah. Have a go now, just do a figure of eight. It's five times around the top, but I'll throw my hand up. Five times around the top, so, okay, I'll right. I'll just put my hand up when it's your time right. to come in. So you've got to right. And you're going to come out of here, and then just come back in when you're done. Well, this is the figure of eight. This is much harder. Well, you got in the 39s for first time out, which is pretty impressive. Oh yeah, I'm sweating. Why do I sweat when I'm wiping my bum? I'll let these guys have a go. 35.90 is just done. Yeah, we, I don't know if we should actually get involved in Mo Jim Connor because he yeah. might show us up. <laughs> yeah. Give it up. <laughs> Get back to crocheting. <laughs> I'll let these guys have a go. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Nice one. Cheers. Yeah, I'm impressed. Really impressed Cheers. with that. Who thought putting some cones in a car park and riding around them would be so much fun? Genuinely. So I did a bit on the 790 Duke launch and I won that. So, P1. But that's the only time I've done it and that wasn't proper Jim Carner. It was Jim Carner, but it's not the Moto official thing. Yeah, check out Moto Jim Carner. Info at motojimcarner.org. www.motojimcarner.org. Right. Back on the trusty stallion. Naughty little thing. I was kind of fearing that journey a little bit because, as I said before, the SMC isn't exactly a mile muncher, is it? But it's actually alright. I mean, it was all motorways and all dual carriageways. And it was actually alright. I mean, your legs kind of get separated a bit, there's not quite enough wind protection above 70 ish. But other than that, it's perfectly uh, capable of cruising at that speed. 620! Well that's it boys and girls, straight to KTM UK for its first service. We start opening her up a bit then, uh, have a bit more fun and uh, make the videos a bit more fun. Want to put it on a dyno, want to get a can for it or some sort of exhaust, give it a bit more raspiness. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, there's nothing really that I didn't know before in these sort of 600 miles, but hopefully in the next few thousand miles we'll be able to tell you a bit more about it. But like I said, if you've got any questions, leave them below and I will try to answer them or email or whatever. Loving the single life. Ciao, 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 ciao. I'll be the same.